Does it still amaze you that soccer is still part of your journey today? I mean, a lot of people, um, you know, they get into their mid twenties and, and, you know, the team sports that kind of kept them alive when they were younger, still kind of are of interest up to, to them. You know, they see it on the TV and whatnot, but it's still, I mean, you're, you're wearing a Jersey right now. Um, you yeah. know, is that something that, you know, it amazes you? I mean, was it something that you intentionally held on to for a long time? Um, I, it doesn't amaze me. However, like I've gone through the full spectrum of soccer from yeah. coaching to playing, to administrating, to refereeing, to like building brands and merchandising to uh, techno soccer technology and sports data apps. And so like, I've done everything. Now I just, I'm an investor in a new team in Denmark. So like awesome. now the team ownership thing. So like, I love it. I love what soccer brings to the world. It's the world's most popular sport. You saw we just got through the World Cup. Incredible yeah. month. Um, so I'm not surprised. I'm uh, inspired that I can still have it be such a huge part of my life. And obviously, grassroots soccer, using soccer to deliver health interventions for me is really the pinnacle of everything uh, that I've worked for, uh, you know, th this part of my life. But yeah, without soccer, I don't know if I'd have much direction in life, you know. So uh, for me, it's been a, a good balancing act to be able to always, you know, focus on soccer and, and what soccer can bring to the world and the communities around me. I got to ask, were you, t were you team messy? I was team messy. I was team messy towards the end, obviously, but, uh, you know, I was an underdog. Like, you know, I love the African teams, you know, yep. Morocco did great. We have, you know, Ghana, Tunisia. So like I was rooting for the African teams and I love the underdog. So. Thank you for tuning in to this clip of the mile 40 podcast. I hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to watch the entire interview, please click here and be sure to subscribe below.